Hello friends. Today we will learn about an internal thread making process called tapping. Tapping is basically a secondary process where the main aim is to make or cut internal threads in an existing hole. Okay. So if we see the umbrella of drilling operations, we can uh, we can see that we we can either drill a hole, we can finish a hole with reaming process. or we can enlarge an existing hole with boring counter boring and counter sinking process and then finally comes another process in the specialized operation called the tapping so in this lecture we will try to understand how this uh, tapping works okay so let us suppose we have a nut and bolt and we want to clamp this bolt inside this nut so to do to do this what we have to do is that we have to cut some threads inside the nut these internal threads are done by tapping process now one thing we need to understand that the threads present in any bolt are external in nature and these cannot these threads cannot be cut by the tapping process tapping is used only for internal thread cutting operation like this okay so remember this Okay so now let us try to uh, see how this operation is actually done this is our tap tap is the tool used for cutting threads tap has multiple cutting teeth as you can see here this is called the shank of the tool we will fix uh, the shank in the tap wrench and this is our tap wrench we will fix it here we will fix the uh, shank here exactly here okay now we are tightening it so that it doesn't come out see now it is uh, tightly uh, fixed and it won't come out easily now this is a previously drilled hole and now i will cut threads in this uh, using the tap fitted in the tap wrench the workpiece is now clamped tightly in the bench wise it is uh, secured tightly and now by rotating the tap inside the hole in this manner i can cut internal threads finally this is the output finally cut internal threads as you can see here okay so now let us try to understand the important parts of a tap or the tap nomenclature taps have uh, multiple cutting th teeth as you can see here these are also called as thread now the distance between two individual uh, teeth is called the pitch of the tap after this comes the diameter of the thread which is nothing but the overall diameter of the tap thread okay and then uh, the total length up to which the threads are present is called the length of the uh, thread or the th thread length this part which then comes next is the shank of the tap and uh, the total length of the shank from the last part of the thread till the end of the tap is called the shank length okay so then we have the uh, shank diameter which is nothing but the diameter of the shank and finally we have the square length at the end at the um, uh, farthest end of the shank uh, where the tap tap is uh, fixed to the wrench So now that we have reached uh, the end part of the video let us summarize uh, summarize what we have learned So tapping is basically an internal thread cutting operation Then uh, a tap is used to uh, cut threads in uh, nuts uh, with the help of multi point cutting edges that is a tap is a multi point cutting tool Then uh, you cannot uh, make these internal threads with hands. You have to clamp it in a tap wrench to assist in, uh, in the thread cutting process. Next, uh, uh, talking about the material of the taps, uh, these are uh, usually made of high speed steel or carbide. And finally, the most fundamental thing is that you cannot create a new hole uh, by using the tapping process. tapping is only used for cutting internal threads in an existing hole so this was all for today uh, thank you for joining guys for more videos subscribe to my vidya thank you